Hello everybody, this is Charles Bridge Tech again with another review, this time on the Nightcore TM26. Now this is a new and improved version from their previous versions, which they've had about three of them. This one now puts out 4,000 lumens on turbo. So let's go ahead and take a look at the light now. I've already opened up the box. The literature that comes in this box, um, it is in Chinese, so unfortunately you will have to go to their website and download the PDF version that's in English. Comes with a little warranty card, comes with a charging adapter, and it is a wall type, and uh, does come with the holster. And it also comes with an extra set of O-rings. So let's get started. Now, basically, with this light, um, this is a quadway version. So it has four emitters and their own individual reflectors. Now, with this package, they also sent me to review this extended pack. Now, when I got this, I thought this was another light, and I was like, wow, that is one big, you know, big, huge battery pack. So with this, this is the new NBP6H HD. Now, they did have other previous versions, which I'll show you on screen right now. And you can see that the new one is the HD. Now, they did have an NBP68 just by itself without the HD. And those with were 30 or 3,000 milliamps. This new battery pack has eight 3,400 milliamp batteries. That's over 27,000 milliamps this battery pack is going to run this on. So, let's get started with the with some more details. Okay, so basically we're going to start with the details of the flashlight itself. Now, the normal battery holder, it only holds four. But with the extended one, it holds eight for double the run time. Now, according to the literature on this, this will run about an hour and 30 minutes on turbo. So just double that with that. So we'll go through some of the run times right now on the display uh, before I go into the user interface. Now, basically, when you're turning this on, this by light by itself is what they call, it's a, basically an indicator light letting you know that the light is ready to go and it's in standby mode that will help you out. Uh, in the dark situations, um, I like it. That way I can set it on the counter. If it gets dark, I'm always going to be able to find it. Okay, so basically, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. You just basically, you have full press and half press. Now, half press is going to turn on the light like so. And that's with those half presses, you can quickly turn it on and turn it off wherever you want. Half presses, release it. Okay? Whatever level you left it on, that's what it'll be in. Okay? Now, when you do a half press, if I can do it here, the half press there, you're going to go ahead and see that the display is going to cycle one time through all the parameters. Uh, I went too fast there. There's 4.3 volts. And then we're going to go to the next one. That shows the battery indicator. Then you have 999 hours. Double that with that pack. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so basically, now we're going to go to the next step. Just slightly pressing that. And we now have 230 lumens. And we go through and cycle that button, 4.2 volts full battery at 46 hours double that and you get that 
All right, so we're going to go to the next one. That's 900, or excuse me, 700 lumens. 4.17 volts. Full battery. 7.8 hours. Double that with that pack. All right, we're going to go to the next one. This is 1900 lumens. 4.1 volts. Full battery still. And that's two hours, and a little over two hours, double that with that pack. Okay, we're going to go, and you're going to press and hold a half a press, and you get 4,000 lumens. So we're going to go ahead and side 3.89 volts. You got full battery, and you got 50 minutes. So you're basically going to get two hours on turbo. That's a lot of run time. Now, most likely this light is going to heat up and set itself lower outputs gradually to protect the light and also the user. All right, so let's go ahead and get some heat temperature readings on this in this reading. Okay, so now it's been on turbo now for about a minute and uh, not quite warm enough. Oh, it's been about 45 seconds, and uh, we're going to let this heat up for a while, and then I'll get a temperature reading on that in just a sec. Okay, so now it's going on almost two minutes, and I'm going to go ahead and get a temperature reading on this. It's pretty warm around the heads here, and uh, let's go ahead and get a temperature reading on that. And at two minutes... Trying to get a good reading here, 108 degrees, and it is climbing, 109, okay, so we're going to come back, I'm going to pause the video real fast, and it'll speed up the time for you guys. Okay, now it's been almost three and a half minutes, and... 114 degrees and it's still climbing. It has not cycled down. So uh, let's see how much longer it's going to take before that actually shuts down. In the meantime, we can do a battery check here showing it's still on 4,000 lumens, 3.75 volts. Still got good battery life. Still showing that 50 minutes and it'll be double with that. All right, and uh, let's do a reading again. All right, 118 degrees, and uh, it's kind of 119. So this thing, these night cores as well as any kind, even my Emilent DDT40, these things generate a lot of heat. So, but the battery is completely lukewarm after all that time. That means you're holding this area. Now, if you start holding it up here, it's going to start burning your hand after a few minutes. But if you're holding it right here, you can hold this light the whole time that you have it on. So let's get another reading on it here real fast. And we're at 122 degrees now. So it's getting hot. So, basically, use caution when you're using these high-powered lights. I can't stress that enough. 123 degrees. So we're going to go ahead, and that's hot. Yeah, that's really warm. So it's hot. So we're going to go ahead and verify and look down. We're waiting for it to toggle down here. That's showing 59 Celsius. Up. Ah. And it just went down. There you go. So it just went down to 1900 lumens. So after about four minutes, four to five minutes, this will cycle down. And that will give it back down into safe range for those LEDs, as well as the hardware in the light. Okay, let's get this other battery pack on. And we'll go over the differences. And we'll go over the build quality. Okay. 
we're basically taking the batteries out of the OEM holder for the battery. You see those there? That's not springs, but uh, some type of uh, bent metal prongs there. To also an indicator on how to put those batteries facing upward. All right, that's the stock battery holder. This is the extended. Now this has two charging ports. One here on the left is the rapid charger. And the one here on the right hand side is your normal charging wall outlet or charging cable that comes with the light and it is smaller so it takes there I'll bring this up here that goes in there that's normal charging and this here you can buy this separately and this goes in here and it is bigger but it's going to rapidly charge this this battery pack in six hours with the standard charging cable wall outlet will only charge at 12 hours so it might be worth the extra money or if you charge it just be prepared that it's going to be taking a long time for that to charge this this is a very powerful pack now right there next to it the right charging port is a blue indicator now that will rapidly blink as it's uh, charging and when it stops blinking and it's remains solid blue it will mean that the battery has fully charged and uh, just want to take a look these threads were lubricated already very nice uh, just exactly like the uh, anodizing on the light itself there's no no differences whatsoever the same quality everything um, this is really a nice I can't wait to get out there and see the night shots with this um, now this is not going to make the light any brighter it's just going to give you that extended run times so again that's just kind of showing you what these now the negatives on the very outer edge and these little push prongs these push inward and they got some little tensions in there that make good contact on the positive end so hopefully that kind of breaks it down to you on uh, how this is uh, the build quality on this which is this is excellent um, I haven't had a bad night core light yet as far as quality um, there's, they're just top notch so we're going to go ahead and get these lights back together um, and let's do some uh, night shots that sounds good all right let's do it and as you can see the beacon is on you'll always be able to find that power button i'm going to turn on the lowest one here try to get it on the correct one all right and the the lowest one there you can kind of see it about 25 you can definitely see it on the ground closer up front about 25 feet away you can to the naked eye I can see it all right we're gonna go up to the next one which is 230 lumens and you can kind of see everything around and about way here can't quite see the famous tree of life here but it's faintly visible on camera. All right, we're gonna go to the next level, which is 700 lumens. And now I can make out the tree. That's about 25 feet away. It's got a nice focused spotlight with a nice spill out the outsides to the sides there We've got a nice throw on this <clears throat> a really nice throw see it on the school 
and see it over here. All right, so let's go ahead and put it on. That's 1900 lumens. So now you can clearly see the tree. And you can clearly see, and there's nice and bright. Now this is really nice. I'm seeing clear out past the school there, or the yard in the grass, playground in the distance. I mean, this is showing really good. See that tree there? Lights up the other trees there. So it's got some really good throw on this. And it's lighting up the school as well. All right. So we're going to go ahead now. And we're going to do turbo. Wow. Look at that. No problem. You can see it lighting up the grass all the way around. Shining up there. That is really good. You can see those trees in the background way out there. So you're looking at a couple hundred yards away there. Now it is cold out a little bit. Uh, we just had rain. So that's what you're seeing the like haze there a little bit. But this is really cutting right through it. There's the tree. School, no problem reaching that school at all. Look at that. That is really nice. <clears throat> and we'll put it up on the fence here. Goes all the way, at least a couple hundred yards. That's crazy. All right. Okay, uh, hope you enjoyed those night shots. Um, I just basically wanted to touch bases on this before I do my final thoughts. Um, this clearly, well, even with the battery pack, with the supplied holster, it does fit. And I'm going to go ahead and show that to you. Okay, and as you can see, that clearly fits with no problems. Um, so... If you have any worries that, hey, might not fit with the holster, it's going to fit because the holster is open at the bottom. So slide right straight on through. Okay, so basically my final thoughts on this Nightcore TM26, the new and improved 4000 lumen turbo. Um, I'm giving this light with the battery pack option. Um, this, uh, the light itself, I'm giving it a perfect 10. Amazing light, quality through and through. Uh, there's nothing I can say that's wrong with the light. Now, the switch is a little tricky to lock it out. You just press it all the way. And then press and hold that, and it'll say lock out. So now when you go ahead and hit that, it'll say lock out. That being a little tricky because this button does stick out a little bit. You may accidentally hit it when putting it in the holster. That's not really a con, but I'm just letting you know. I mean, just just letting you know so you can make a decision. Uh, I recommend this light if you want high output, multi-levels that are gonna suit just about anybody's needs along with this battery pack option to last hours and hours and hours more than probably most people will use um, it comes with this option which you can get some really nice high performance protected batteries is what's required for this light um, i'm giving it a 10 i can't say anything more i hope you enjoyed this review on the night or the nightcore tm26 it's just amazing light, amazing value, built very well. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to again see you again watching my videos. Thank you very much for watching.
Take care.